Now turn our attention to other news tonight in the media mob. We start with a blatant fact. If you are a self-proclaimed journalist at the New York Times, Washington Post, fake news CNN, MSDNC, ABC, NBC, CBS, you actually have two jobs. One, protect Democrats, especially Joe Biden, at all costs. Number two, stalk, harass, smear, slander Donald Trump and his family and anybody who supports him. Obviously, even though you call yourself journalists, you're not. That's not journalism. And by and large, the employees at these so-called news outlets, they're not journalists. We, as I said in 2007, journalism is dead in America. Now, this week, in two open letters, I asked Maggie Haberman, Ben Smith at the New York Times, other self-proclaimed journalists there, uh, about their beloved Russia hoax. Three years of never ending lies, conspiracy theories that they peddled each and every day to the American people. And the differences in coverage, by the way, the way they treat Joe Biden versus the way they treated Donald Trump, it is staggering. Instead of answering my questions, Mr. Prestigious, holier than thou, uh, New York Times calls himself a journalist, Ben Smith. You know, that's the same guy that not only released Hillary Clinton's bought and paid for dirty Russian disinformation dossier, but uh, said he believed it. He said the broad outline of the dossier is unquestionably true. Ben, do you stand by that tonight? Anyway, he decided to try to change the topic on social media and attack yours truly. And this New York Times reporter used an. Uh, uh, now, this is pretty funny. The New York Times, with all the prestige that they like to think that they have, they're now tweeting out from an account and using an account on Twitter that's called, their words, not mine, at pop bitch. A Twitter account with 34,000 followers. Let me repeat, the New York Times is now getting information and passing on information from a Twitter account called at pop bitch. You can't make this Adam Schiff up. Now, the big news is that some people at Fox apparently don't like me and said bad things about me gutlessly behind my back, according to Ben Smith, to members of the media mob. Ben, if that's true, that's called a normal day in the world that I live in. And here's a little secret for you, Ben. And all the liberals that hate watch this program every night, I don't care. I don't give a Adam Schiff about what anybody says about me. I've been doing this show 25 years, 33 years in radio. I do this show, I do my radio show, I do it for my audience, the people that have been so loyal to me and give me this camera every night and give me that microphone every day. And I do it loudly, I do it proudly, and I do it unapologetically, and I'm not gonna change just because some of you don't like me. I'm open and honest about my conservative beliefs uh, and who I support. It's hardly a breaking news alert, Ben. And unfortunately, honesty and truth, that's not a priority for people at the New York Times like Ben and Maggie and, well, the rest of the media mob. Over the past five years, they got dozens and dozens and dozens of stories dead wrong. Cheryl Atkinson, she has a running list on her website. She's now up to, I think, 156 fake news stories and counting in 2020, multiple outlets. Remember they claim President Trump forcefully uh, cleared peaceful protest protesters out of Lafayette Park because he wanted a photo op. Well, the inspector general said that's fake news. The Washington Post, others claiming that the COVID lab leak hypothesis was nothing but a debunked conspiracy theory. More fake news. The New York Times implying that President Trump had paid no income taxes for 18 years. Well, that was proven to be fake news. There was fake news about the First Lady's immigration status, fake news about the President's children, fake news about Russian bounties on U.S. soldiers, fake news about, oh, Nicholas Sandman. I can't wait till you pay and fork over millions to that kid. He deserves every penny. And, of course, years of fake news surrounding something that never happened, and that was Trump-Russia collusion and the conspiracy theory that they peddled almost every single day, which was derived from an actual Russian disinformation campaign bought and paid for by Hillary Clinton and published, publicly released, and publicly believed by New York Times writer, whatever he is, columnist, because he's not a journalist, Ben Smith himself. 
So Ben, Maggie, the New York Times, and the other Russia collusion truthers in the media mob, let me ask you one more time. Do you still believe in the Russia hoax that you peddle to your audiences? Do you still think the Clinton Steele dossier is unquestionably true? Do you care about premeditated fraud that was perpetrated numerous times against the FISA court? Do you care, will you now admit uh, that candidate and then later President Trump was he illegally spied on because of Hillary's dirty Russian disinformation dossier and the lies told to the FISA court? It says at the top of a FISA application, verified. None of it was verifiable. Do you care about government abuse of power? Because up to now, you've shown no interest in what would have been the biggest stories in your career. Will you try and ever, ever hold Biden accountable for anything? Will you investigate his corrupt international family business? Will you try and find out why sketchy foreign nationals, let's see, from Kazakhstan, Russia, China, Ukraine, why were they paying Joe Biden's crack-addicted son, Hunter, with zero experience, millions and millions of dollars? Are you going to lift a finger and investigate Hunter's laptop from hell? Will you hold Biden accountable for his racist, racist rhetoric, prior support for segregation? Will you ever do any of these things? Will you conduct any investigation surrounding the Biden administration? Now, look at this. According to a new Reuters poll, the U.S. now ranks dead last in media trust. By the way, that's because of the media mob, the New York Times, the Washington Post, ABC, CBS, NBC, fake news, CNN, and MSDNC, and pretty much the rest of the media. And by the way, because you're all new Green Deal socialists, you have an agenda. You're not the journalist you claim to be. Stop pretending. It's time to own who you are. Own it. Own your truth. The Times propagated an actual hoax. They did it for years, as did these other outlets. In the case of the New York Times, they have pulled surprises for their efforts. So the other question we have for you, Maggie Haberman, Ben Smith, Dean Baquet, uh, if you had any decency, any honor, you and your colleagues would give back what is a phony Pulitzer Prize. Will you do it now? One last question. Will you do the right thing at the New York Times? Will you give the Pulitzer Prizes back? We're not holding our breath. Now, of course, CNN's Humpty Dumpty, whose real job is to be Mr. Potato Head Jeff Zucker's stenographer, well, he will not be holding his colleagues in the media mob accountable. It's like this blue checklist cult. You know, it's the, they live in their isolated fake news media bubble. And I'll tweet your article that's fake if you tweet my fake article. He has more important things to do, like stalking yours truly and watching Fox News 24-7. Now, recently, poor Humpty, he had to take some time away from watching Fox. He went on his nationwide book tour for his re-released anti-Trump, anti-Fox diatribe. I'm told a whopping 13 brand new chapters. Wow. A lot of work. Now, unfortunately, sad news for Humpty tonight, because despite numerous national TV appearances, tons of hype, poor Humpty Dumpty only managed to sell... Yeah, a meager 1,300, uh, 1,738 copies in the first week of sales. And he's actually 4,007th on Amazon.com well behind every other book ever written. And tonight, by the way, more bad news for Humpty Dumpty. New York Magazine is actually reporting. I didn't know that he had family members in the news business, but apparently his wife is an anchor on some channel somewhere, and she's being accused of bullying and creating a toxic environment in her workplace. Now, here's the question. Humpty Dumpty hosts a show about the media. I wonder if he will cover this big media story on his low-rated media show. I wouldn't hold my breath. Now, ultimately, the Brian Humpty Dumpties of the world, the Maggie Habermans, the Ben Smiths of the world, everyone else in the media mob, they can cover whatever they want. It's a free country, freedom of the press, freedom of speech. I believe in all of it. I never support boycotts. I never call for cancellations. But if they were decent and ethical, and if they were true journalists, as they claim that they are, they would at least be honest about their own political agenda. They could at least be honest about that little part. They have an opinion. They offer their opinion. They have an agenda. They follow it every day. 
I'm honest with my audience. I am a talk show host. Yes, I'm a member of the press. I do straight news. I can produce thousands of hours of covers of coverage, radio and TV. We do investigative reporting. Actually, this show got the quote Trump Russia collusion story right. We were proven right. You were proven wrong. I give opinion. I openly say I am a proud conservative. I'm like the entire newspaper. I'm honest. You, though, claim to be something you're not. You claim to be journalists, and that is just straight up not true. You have an abusively biased socialist agenda. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.